Hi everyone. Today we will discuss something about the 15th Finance Commission's interim report. First, I am telling you about some facts. First thing is, its chairman is N.K. Singh and this Finance Commission in the Constitution it is coming under Article 218 and this, you know, you may be knowing that there has been 14, 14 finance commissions in the past and the new commission that is 15th one was constituted in 2017 and this will be applicable for the period of 2020 to 2025. Then one of the important fact in this 15th finance commission or recommendation in this finance commission is they have reduced the vertical devolution to the states. You may be knowing that last finance commission that is 14th finance commission has increased the devolution to that is what is center has been giving to states in the form of money that was increased to 42 percentage. 14th finance commission increased this amount to 42 percentage. So under this new finance commission that is in 15th finance commission it is again reduced reduced to 41 percentage and they have said that the reason is you may be knowing that Jammu and Kashmir has been divided into two union territories recently. So now the power or the responsibility of taking care of these two union territories will be on sender. They will be spending money for, for the maintenance of these territories such as law and maintenance, education, health, etc. So as this expenditure is lying on this sender and this not a state anymore, they have reduced to this devolution of money from 42 percentage to 41 percentage so that this money will be available with the sender. So that is one of the important recommendation. Then it is also said that they intend to set up an expert group to initiate a non-lapsable fund for defense expenditure. That is also one new initiative under this 15th finance commission. Next is a state-wise distribution of the fund. I already told you that Sendra will be distributing this amount of tax collected from the states among other states equally. So from each state they will be collecting taxes and when it is collected by the sender in total it will distribute among the states as per the needs of the state. So there is some proportion uh, in distribution. So in as per this finance commissions recommendation there is a reduction for some states like Andhra Pradesh, Kerala, Karnataka, West Bengal etc. So it is seen that in all these countries fertility is low and they have been working hard after 1970s to reduce their fertility rate and they have reduced their population also. So instead of rewarding these states for their population reduction they are finding a reduction in their fund devolution okay and among them Karnataka is having most reduction in their distribution of fund and Karnataka is one of the states which is paying highest amount of tax to the center also so and there is some states in for them there has been slightly increase in the tax devolution that is they are Maharashtra, Himachal Pradesh, Punjab, Tamil Nadu. For these states also fertility rates is below this replacement, replacement level. But thing is that there is only slight increase in their uh, devolution, tax devolution. And there are states such as Bihar, UP, they have been uh, no increase in their population reduction level. I mean they are still having the same population as in the year of 1970s itself still they are getting high amount of this money from the sender so 
it is seen that instead of promoting states such as kerala uh, mainly southern state who are doing well uh, in reducing their fertility and population they are providing high amount of tax collected tax to this uh, states which are not performing well in their population control or fertility rate so that is considered as a uh, drawback for this finance commission then uh, criticisms uh, i already told you that there is uh, some criticism like not supporting uh, states which are promoting well in this population control it is said that 14th finance commission used both 1971 population status as well as 2011 population but now the 15th finance commission is using only 2011 population so uh, that is what is causing the problem of high devolution for the higher states and low devolution for the smaller states which are performing well in the population control so larger population states is having larger share this is happening just because they are depending on 2011 population status only so that is why means by 2011 these states like southern states have already improved a lot by reducing their population so these states will be having a reduction in the population hence they are getting less amount of money during this central distribution so larger population states like up bihar will be having high amount of money during this central distribution and smaller states which is having low population but having lower fertility rate and high or good population control measures will be having a loss of having less amount of money from the center so that is one of the criticism so population reduction mm, there are some states like assam goa himachal pradesh odisha punjab west bengal etc apart from the southern states they have also done well for their population control okay then there are some states which are getting less contribution less amount of uh, devolution from the state center from what they are contributing i mean when center is collecting taxes from the states they will be providing a large amount of money to the center in the form of different kind of taxes but when they are getting from the center it will be less compared to what they are contributing to the center like if they may be providing 100 rupees as a tax for example i am taking but after uh, this distribution of money they will be getting only 50 rupees or something less than 100 rupees so this is a kind of loss for the, all these states means they are they had to pay a high amount of tax to the center but in return they are getting only less amount so where this money is going is this money is diverted to poor states like bihar and up okay and this well performing states is all, always getting a less amount of money from the center so uh, we can say that this amount of this kind of measure is necessary because we need a equal distribution of fund or we need to uh, uplift the states which are performing very badly like up and bihar because they are having high population and their living status is a bit backward so if center is diverting a large chunk of money to them only we can uplift this kind of backward state to friend arena okay so from from the perspective of center it is right that they are getting um, Uh, money from the rich states and giving that money to the poor states okay so these are all the states which are getting less contribution less amount of money from the state than what they are contributing like gujarat which is getting only rupees 30 less for every 100 rupees they are contributing and maharashtra also same case rupees 30 less for every 100 rupees that they are contributing and haryana also same as the case then punjab also and there are some states as i told you like bihar and up which are getting more than what they are contributing so if they are contributing like bihar in the case of bihar if it is contributing only 100 rupees as tax it is getting rupees 200 in return okay from the sender as a grant and also in case of up for every 100 rupees it is contributing it is getting about 150 rupees in return then 
If we are comparing the per capita income, this is not the case. So, in this case, when we are comparing the per capita income, southern states are getting better devolution compared to northern states such as UP and Bihar. So, this is affecting the states only when it is in terms of population only. Okay. So, these are all the some facts which is released uh, in this recent interim report of finance commission. The other things we will be discussing in the another video. Okay. So, that's all about this video. Thank you.